Hello, my dear fellow learners. I received this request from my audience many times. Is there any AI tool which can help us in preparing our lectures like easy and quick? Is there any tool which can assist us developing lecture notes and all the slides which we are planning to teach our students? And the good news is yes. In this video, I will teach you one AI tool which can help you to prepare your slide with many different themes and with many different possibilities of very to different formats and it saves tons of your time. This is Gamma.app. It's an amazing AI tool which can help you to prepare your lecture slide even if you don't have any content. It's amazing. So let's see how it works. Let's learn Gamma.app. So if you click on Gamma.app website, you will be redirected to this interface. It's very nice, simple and clean interface where you can input your prompt and uh, you can get your presentation done in a few clicks. So first thing is uh, describe what you like to, to make. So it can give you opportunity to make presentations, but it can also make web pages and Word document. Let's make a lecture slides first. The options for free per version of this application is you can create 8 cards but if you want to increase to 10 cards that's fine but if you want to increase more than 10 cards you need more uh, credit. So it is, it is uh, using some credits and it will give you some limited credit for using this app. But the good thing about this app is if you share the link to any other friend you will receive some credit. So uh, by doing this, you can continuously use this app and get more credit. So this is what I'm doing. It's, it's like a tip for you. Okay, so once you can make it default, traditional to all whatsoever method you want to use. Uh, traditional is like your uh, traditional uh, PowerPoint slide measurement, uh, 916. But this tall one is uh, more like... Uh, 169 but I use default version and it change uh, automatically when it, it, it required to change and then you can set up a language also there are many uh, options available for languages if you want to create a presentation in a different language you can use this option but let's think of a topic which I want to teach to my student today so I will give it a little bit difficult from which I believe uh, limited information is available online so let's see how this system or this AI app will help us or whether it can give us the, the real content we need or not. So I thought of a, a simple idea. I can ask it to prepare a lecture on responsible use of generative AI in research. Identify good and bad practices. Just to, because this topic is new and it is a, a, a topic of down to nowadays everybody is uh, trying to discuss about it, the, the responsible use or ethical use of generative AI in research. Let's see how this gamma.app can help me to create this content for this lecture. We have already created a content uh, outline so responsible use of generative AI in research this is my topic understanding and generative AI capabilities and limitations excellent ethical consideration in AI application perfect establishing transparent and accountable processes, safeguarding against bias and discrimination, right? respecting intellectual property rights, ensuring data privacy and security, promoting responsible AI education and training, developing evaluation framework for generative AI, and conclusion, embracing generative AI responsibility. Excellent content. I don't need to change anything, but if I want to change, I can just click and change it. Or I can delete and add or remove any card. If I want to add another card, I can just click here and add any other card I want to keep. I think this is the perfect uh, layout and perfect outline for my lecture. The next thing is I need to define the level of discussion we need within the slides because I'm teaching that's why I will be looking at the detailed outlines but if you want to present this idea to another different audience so you can now find out the brief, medium or detailed options. Detailed options are like more writing in paragraphs. A medium is like just a few bullet points and these are a few key topics in it. And the most important part here is which will help uh, to create a very cool and maybe very 
professional uh, visual in your uh, presentation is your web images or I usually keep it at automatic but if you want to use web images it can use web images wherever it is possible it will search from stock images and it can generate AI images as well so I use automatic so wherever it have options to to use these AI or web-based images it will uh, bring those images and where these images are not available it will automatically create images so if you want to go to the advanced mode you can click here and you will be redirected to advanced mode where you can write all the information card by card but let's go back for now and just try to create this again from the draw i can quickly go through and i just want to show you how this gamma.app works once i click it will automatically create everything the gamma dot uh, app is giving me option to select some themes and there are cool and amazing themes available here you can see here you can change all these and you can customize themes as well but for me uh, these themes are more than enough for any presentation and uh, color scheme so they, they are already like a professional themes and select any one of them there are two major categories dark and light themes so this one uh, these ones are light themes and these were on basically da dark themes you want to select dark so it will show you only dark theme if you want to work with the light one or colorful you can select uh, all these uh, options usually i use dark theme that gives a, a unique flavor to your uh, presentation but obviously it is just a matter of choice you can choose any theme you like but let's say I tried to work with this blue one I have never used this one before so I selected this theme and I just clicked on generate and you can see that it is automatically generating all my slides that's amazing it's in a few clicks you can generate your PowerPoint or any presentations for your lectures for your classes for your research presentation anything and it was like amazing uh, color schemes because I, I i chose it to be more detailed so that's why it's giving me text in the form of paragraph and at the end of this video i'll give you one tip through which you can add some really cool visual effects and animations to these slides i'll show you that later on and how amazing you can see that it has already created the whole presentation for me and it's amazing so i can just uh, present i don't need to download it actually or convert it to powerpoint slide it have a complete interface where you can present it directly from this interface so just click on the present and then you have this option spotlight once you click in this and you have also have this inter full screen now you have uh, animation ready uh, slides with you and you can present these or prepare your lecture easily once i started presenting uh, with the arrow keys these animations are showing and, and every time I click on down arrow it's giving me a different section so this this looks amazing it's it's really good but most of the time we need to upload these slides or send these slides to our students and I can just click on the share and from this export button I can export this file to PowerPoint and once we click it you can quickly export this into powerpoint and you can also always customize theme change themes and also you can work with all these cards which means that all these slides i'll show you how you can work with these slides and change them according to your requirement the theme the style the text everything is uh, completely customizable the powerpoint slides are downloaded now so another thing is uh, if if you want to change these slides you are not happy with this, the pictures or the content if once you click on any content you will see icon here with three dots click on this and you will find many different options where you can edit change or improve the content and even for your pictures once you click on the picture you will see options there you can change the focus point you can fit image to your slide you can remove backgrounds it's, it's different options available so if you click on surprise me it will bring uh, something different every time and if you want to change this image edit this image you can just click here and it will open another window where there are many options available these are excellent images if i want to upload any image from my file i can just click here and upload image and then you also have some images options here you can use uh, 
unsplash uh, images, AI images, or you can search from the website also. Let's say if I click on web search, it will automatically show me the images or related images to these slides. I can choose any one of them, or I can see I just uh, wrote AI, and now it's giving me lead list of images where I can select any one of these images. Okay. So I can use these images. So it's fully customizable, easy to use, very professional tool for preparing our website or creating different slides for our uh, students and all this. But there is a, another trick if you want to present in PowerPoint and want to create more uh, powerful animations, I will show you uh, that tip at the end of this uh, lecture. But let's look at its uh, options again. If you go back to home and you will see that you can create new, you can start from blank, you can also uh, use your own content or you can import any file uh, where you already have all the content ready for your PowerPoint slides. You can just give it any lecture or any text file and it will automatically convert that file into slides and also you can start working and creating one by one. So you have all these options where you can create different slide decks, you can create by yourself, you can ask AI to create it, or you can use different options to extract your work from existing uh, text or all this. These are all slides I prepared for my students and they are really amazing and it, it works really good. This is simple interface, try to use it and uh, save tons of your time and you can work with this tool in many different ways. Uh, let's see, we have downloaded this slide. I just want to give you a very pro trick through which you can create some animation within the PowerPoint slides which are exported from Gamma.ai. You can see it's amazing. It looks so professional. And if I present uh, this slide, it's, it's something like this. Normal, there are no animations included in this, but I can give you a very simple trick through which you can add some animations to your slide. So select all these slides in PowerPoint and click on the transition and just use this morph transition. It's a very useful and amazing uh, transition. I use it a lot in my PowerPoint slides. So once you use this uh, morph slide, now you will see that some slides uh, will use the animation which, which create a cool effect in your PowerPoint slide. Slide will also create an effect of the animations are created based on one click only. So these are very useful techniques. You can use them in your PowerPoint slides.